top to bottom the best four quarterbacks in one division, that's for sure. And the, the conference, too. You know, the, the, think of the, the, if, if there were scales, even, it's this week alone, it's, it's going more and more. It was already going this way toward the AFC, but it's going more and more toward the AFC with these yeah. great players jumping from the NFC via trade this week, and who knows what will happen in free agency because I think you've got a full-blown arms race in the AFC West now. MDS points out that the Chargers will still have roughly $25 million in cap space even after the MAC trade goes through because Justin Herbert is in the third year of his rookie contract. Now is the time to spend. Now is the time before you have to give Justin Herbert – market value or close to it after this season this is the year to go all in this is the window to parlay young relatively cheap quarterback contract into super bowl run and so i agree with you i think the chargers are going to do more they're going to do what they can to try to compete with the other teams in their division and if anything the arrival of russell wilson increases the urgency and peter the other side of it they're in Los Angeles with the Super Bowl champions who have been going all in and going all in and going all in. And we've wondered whether and to what extent the NFL and inherently copycat operation is going to have other teams that start behaving the same way. Well, the team that plays in the same stadium as the Super Bowl champions is behaving that way. It looks like it, Mike. And... And, you know, especially if they were, I think the perfect guy for them to add is J.C. Jackson, the New England corner, uh, because of what has happened in the division. They have six games every year now against Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson, um, and who am I forgetting, Derek Carr. And so, to me, I think you look at a team like, uh, like the Chargers, and you basically say... You know, in order to compete, we got to do exactly what the other teams in our division are doing. Now, Kansas City hasn't done anything, but they don't really have to. Um, and and look, I think the Raiders are going to be highly interesting because, look, they've had a sea change. You know, without Mike Mayock now, without John Gruden, it happened. You know, in the in the blink of an eye, in the blink of an eye, basically. But now with Dave Ziegler and Josh McDaniels, Dave Ziegler, a total unknown quantity, um, I'm sure to anybody in Vegas. And, and so to me, I think those are the two teams I'm looking at now. After you look at what has happened it, with the Chargers and the Broncos, it's sort of a check checkmate kind of deal. You know, what, what will the Raiders do? I'll tell you this. I think the Raiders, and I'm not saying that they're going to have a Boy Scout quotient in their future draft picks and uh, free agent signings. But I do think maybe it's anecdotal, Mike. Maybe it isn't. But they've had a couple of very high recent draft choices in Henry Ruggs III and in Damon Arnett uh, get in monumental trouble. And I think they're going to be a little bit more cautious on the, uh, you know, I, I don't even mean it's, I don't even mean they're going to be taking all Eagle Scouts, but I do think they're going to look a little bit more closely at what happens when you give 22 year old people a lot of money. And who knows, did that have a lot to do with Arnett and Ruggs? I don't know. Uh, I do know this, that, that Ruggs to me, uh, I, I mean, I, I know a couple of people at Alabama and they their jaws, I think, are still on the floor because he just, you know, he never did anything anywhere even close to what he did with the Raiders. But but anyway, be that as it may, I think now it's time for the Raiders and time for the Chiefs to, sh to show their hand uh, in the next few days as we approach the start of the league year. And, Peter, there's one extra factor about the Raiders. 22-year-old guy, a lot of money, living in Las Vegas. That's the other side of this. Yeah. That just kind of got glossed That's over by the, the NFL when they moved a team to Las Vegas. But 
Uh, you yeah. know, look at what happened with Calvin Ridley. That was how this crazy upside down week got started. And you've got guys who walk out the front door of their apartment building and there's a casino. So, uh, yeah, different world, different time. And with McDaniels and Ziggler there, it's Patriot Way. Patriot Way, typically, 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 there are some exceptions, some noteworthy exceptions, but typically Patriot Way shies away from folks who would engage in those kinds of antisocial behaviors if they have reason to know about it, and sometimes they do, and they still make the move anyway. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.